Okay, the purpose of today's tutorial is using DFM Now and the Send RFQ feature that's built within DFM Now. What we hope to achieve by showing you this tutorial is how to save time and money by sending out quotations for your printed circuit board, also to improve the accuracy of the quotes, and uh, also try to see if we can get the best prices available by sending out more than one quote. <clears throat> the way you do that is you'll start up DFM now which I've done here I'm gonna select the auto load feature I'm gonna select in a bunch of Gerber and drill files that I have available in a particular folder at this point I've loaded in my my Gerbers at this point is DFM now works just like you would with any type of Gerber or ODB viewer where you're able to view in check out the data measure sizes do anything else that you want of that nature now the typical process for anyone who wants to have this particular board manufactured is they need to go onto the manufacturer's site, which we'll do here for a sample board shop here. They need to enter their contact information, company name, address, just as you would anywhere, the part number, the board revision, and the quantity. And then they need to start adding this additional information, uh, such as the board size, which means you need to go back here uh, measure the size of your board or if you know this already that's fine too but in general you'd see it's like 6.75 by 5.2 inches I'm using inches for this uh, demo here so you'd have to go back here and enter in again the, the same thing which is uh, for a shortcut just put down like 6.5 by 5.75 uh, they'd have to enter in the, the layer count uh, the minimum conductor width, which is the minimum tracing, minimum space, uh, total hole count, smallest hole size, material board thickness. I mean, you just don't have time to, to figure all this stuff out, where DFM Now will automate this entire process. Uh, as you see here, there's still a lot of other information you need to fill. And say, for instance, I want to also have another board shop, uh, have them set another separate quote. I've got to take all this data. And then I've got to switch over, let's say, for instance, this is a sample board shop number two. I've got to repeat the same steps again, repeating the total hole counts, smallest hole size, material, board thickness, everything. What DFM now does for you is it extracts all that information from the Gerber files themselves, puts it all into a nice, easy form with just two clicks. You can get quotes from as many board shops as you'd like. And let me show you how that feature works. So, again, I've loaded in my Gerbers here. What we always do with DFM now is it's a free tool, so you're able to run a free DFM check. I mean, why not just make sure that everything's okay with your board before you send it out? And what DFM now does is it checks for the major problems. Uh, a lot of the minor things aren't really that important, but if you have uh, spacing violations or any other thing that's, that can cause a critical showstopper error, that's where DFM now comes into play. It also does have the ability to compare uh, netlist files, and by sending out one of your RFQ features here, you get netlist files and a whole host of other un, uh, added benefits as far as you'll receive an unlock code, which lets you do um, <clears throat> netlist comparison, copper area calculation, a lot of other high-end CAM features. But at this time again, first I'm just going to run the DFM check. And what it's doing at this moment is it's just extracting the net, it's checking everything, and there you go. Real quickly, uh, DFM now has gone through here and found out that there is uh, three violations. However, this is a yellow light, which just means there are minor infractions where you have an inner plane clearance. And pretty much any board shop can correct most of these simple things, such as annular rings or inner plane clearance, without having to be an issue. <clears throat> so at this point, you can just basically, if you'd like to see the specific areas, you just click Next. And we have other tutorials showing you the details of the DFM checks. At this point, well, my goal is to show you the send RFQ. So I've done this now. All you have to do is press the button send RFQ. Since this is my first time using it, I'm going to go ahead and enter in my information. And I also can include the company name, anything else. However, the main two features you just need to make sure you include are your name and your email. And the other information obviously is very useful, but again, just 
for the minimum requirements, you just need to enter that in. And what you'll notice here is this is the send RFQ page. Uh, you'll see already that send RFQ already knows how many layer counts, like how many uh, layers are on my board. It already has calculated the board width, the board height. It's already calculated the drill count for me. Minimum hole size, minimum trace, minimum space, uh, everything else. So instead of having to go back here to some board shop company website and filling out all this information and trying to figure this out myself, DFM Now has instantly extracted everything for me. All I have to do is put down my board name, which I'll just call this test board 332. And again, it could be anything, revision A. And what you'll do here is all you need at this point now, you can just put your lead time. So let's say, for instance, I want these boards in three days and I want a quantity of 10. And what DFM Now will do is it'll also just give you an estimated price of what it thinks the board value what it will be cost to make it. This in no way reflects what the actual true cost will be that you get from the manufacturer. But it gives you an excellent idea and just allows you to kind of get an idea in your head of what you may be paying for these boards. Uh, the other thing you can do is you'll see that DFM now automatically will attach files, uh, which are basically what you just loaded. So all the Gerbers and drills located in this folder will be attached and sent to the printer circuit board company. Uh, now the one nice thing is, let's say for instance this is your first time using DFM now, or you're a little scared or unsure and you, you feel like, oh, there's going to be some type of security violation, I don't want to include any of my Gerbers or anything else of that nature. All you need to do is simply uncheck this. That means none of your design data is going to get sent to the actual manufacturer. However, all this detailed information about your board will be sent to the manufacturer so they can at least send you a quotation and let you get an idea of how much it's going to cost to have your boards made and you know you're able to proceed from there and then if you feel comfortable uh, you can either send the data directly to the manufacturer at that point or you just get comfortable using DFM now and you just start to continuously use uh, and include the, the Gerber data and everything else along with it because uh, again it's a real nice feature it includes that uh, I do want to stress that DFM now is a uh, Basically what it does is it encrypts all your data, sends it onto a secure server of ours, and then it allows the manufacturer to pull the data off. And once he's done that, our server automatically deletes all data within 48 hours. So then they're able to, uh, uh, you know, you're able to securely get your data over to the PCB manufacturer. You can also include notes if there's any special thing that you want to mention to your board shop. And then here are the general uh, settings that you'd have to set just to say what your parameters are, such as if you want the silk screen white, the solder mask green, anything else of that nature. The nice thing is once you've done this, most of your preferences now will be saved for good. Now all you do is click the button next, and here is where you are able to check from the different list of actual vendors that we have. And again, what makes DFM now nice is that unlike other Gerber viewers, other software that may say, hey, get your free quote, they're actually in a sense uh, aligned or trying to you know, work to, basically you're just trying to send a quote to, to a particular company so they can go ahead and process the boards. What we do is we actually offer an open market system where we just allow you to send to whoever board shop that you'd like to, uh, to work with. And if you don't see your board shop in here, just tell them to sign up with DFM now. It's free. They can simply contact us. And if they're a legitimate board shop, a uh, high quality board shop, we'll add them to the list here. So as you see, it's as simple as that. All you do at this particular point is you can check any uh, companies that you want to include. And again, there's no preference. I'm just basically unchecking, checking here. But let's say, for instance, I want to send out, uh, I don't know, three quotes. And these are the particular companies I chose. All I need to do at this point is just hit send RFQ. All my data about my board will be sent out. If I check the option to send my Gerber and drills, well, they've also got my Gerber and drills now. They've got everything else they need. Simply just click this button. You can sit back and relax, and you'll receive your quotations back from these vendors. So it makes the process extremely easy. You've got to use, in general, to a Gerber viewer to check your data anyway, so why not have one like DFM Now set up where it's got the integrated quote built into it? And as an added bonus, by using the DFM Now, the Send RFQ feature, we'll go ahead and send you an unlock code which unlocks most of the high-end cam features in DFM now for free and again some of those features include uh, the netless comparison and these are features that you can check almost any cam software tool you want is several thousand dollars for those features 
we offer that free of charge. And we also have other tutorials where you'll be able to see how the Netlist comparison and, uh, works uh, as far as the features in it. Again, you get the copper area calculation and a whole host of other uh, CAM features. So we definitely recommend it can't hurt. It's no obligation. We aren't in any way associated with any of the board shops here as far as um, the makers of DFM now. We simply want to provide the most options to you, the user, and to simplify the uh, the entire process because we know if we make useful software for you, it's going to benefit not only us, it'll benefit everyone in the long run. So that's pretty much the tutorial here on sending out the RFQ. And again, the only step that hasn't been done is just pressing the send RFQ. Thank you very much.